Hi guys, I'm here. So a couple of days ago, I got a really, really good offer from my time trial bike. And since I wanted some changes anyway, I decided to sell it. Well, the customer wasn't very keen on the hardcore one by setup that I've been using. So we decided to convert uh, the bike to something more usable every day. That means the convenience of the ETAP double group set and removing uh, some of the parts that were specific to me. So yeah, this is the unboxing of the E-Type group set. Of course, in order to change that, I had to tear down the complete bike. Uh, first, what I did is to plug in both batteries to charge them. Then the hardest part is probably uh, cabling the handlebar. Now we can't really uh, thread electrical wires through the handlebar if the brake cable is already in there so I've used two of the Park Tool uh, internal cable routing uh, tools to pull the brake outer out then pull the electrical wires in for the blips and then put it all back together so this is what I'm showing you uh, right now and it uh, took up some time probably this is the most uh, labor-intensive part of the whole build, but uh, I had some previous experience, so it wasn't too bad. I've also used uh, foam slips for the cables because they tend to rattle uh, in a bar like this. So yeah, this is uh, fitting the blips. I fitted them with double-sided tape, so they're just stuck on there. You can change the position anytime you want. And then moving on to the extension, this is much simpler. You just thread uh, the extensions using the park tool tool and glue them on. Then it's uh, time to put the bar back on the bike. Uh, this is quite a straightforward process. The rear brake cable goes into the frame. The front one goes into the stem end underneath uh, for the brake wedge. Uh, the more tricky bit was making sure that the ETAP bars aren't too long, so I had to be a bit clever with that. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Okay, so since this is a pretty small frame size and pretty short extensions and the blip cables uh, from the ETAP group set are very, very long, I had to be a bit creative with this uh, routing. So all the wires come here and then they are shrink wrapped together. And then I've done a little loop and put another layer of shrink wrap over there. So this little loop goes into the frame so no excessive uh, cable right here. And then they connect into the blip box. And unfortunately, the stack here is pretty low, so I can't use the standard uh, stick-on or Garmin mount style mount. So what I decided to do instead is that I've drilled a little hole in the cover, put a small screw through there. Uh, again, the stock one is too long. So I had to find one, it's an M4. Uh, so yeah, I drilled a hole in the middle here, put the blip box on there, and right now it should fit. Well, it's pretty hard to do with one hand. Yeah, this is how it fits. This bike was designed before ETAP uh, was around. So yeah, it's not a consideration probably or it wasn't when it was designed but I managed to fit it pretty neatly although it did require some effort but the buttons are reachable and yeah the cables aren't too broken up or anything uh, yeah just a neat fit only just but yeah it fits nicely 
Okay, now I think that the difficult bit is over. I managed to tape up the bar as well. It wasn't as straightforward as I hoped uh, because of the blips, but I managed to do that. So I tape from here, secure it with electrical tape, then tape all the way up here. Uh, another layer of electrical tape, the plug in it. Uh, the thing is that the inner diameter of a Tantral aero bar is smaller than a traditional road handlebar because it has to handle you know, the expanded plug uh, from the shifter that would otherwise be here. So I had to uh, file down uh, this end cap or end plug and then I could fit it. So yeah, uh, this is the setup that we have here. The blips a bit uh, sideways to the bottom, but they're, they can be easily felt underneath the tape, even though it's pretty thick. Well, the lizard skin's tape is not too flexible, so I didn't manage to put it on the base bar. Here I have used a regular cork tape, which is very stretchy. It has a gel padding in there, so quite comfy as well. And yeah, I started from here all the way up to here. And yeah, you can, it's pretty thin, so you can easily feel uh, the blips on the base bar. So overall, pretty neat setup. I've also installed the SRAM TT mount. Now normally this, uh, you get this with the blip box, it's supposed to hold that if you have a more regular setup, but I didn't need that, so yeah, it can hold uh, the customer's Garmin over there. Yeah, and the blip box is there, the front brake installed and adjusted. Same for the rear brake, except the speed swing, but I think that will be the very last thing that, that I mount. Now it's time uh, to do the drivetrain. Okay, so the conversion is now ready. We have a full-on ETAP group set on here. As I said, uh, the installation wasn't exactly super straightforward, but at least I didn't have to cable the frame itself. The handlebar is basically the same amount of involvement as with DI2, but it is a bit, com bit more complicated because of the blips and their shape. So yeah, I wanted to do this uh, with regular bar tape and basically transform the whole bike from a hardcore uh, time trial setup for, uh, for me into basically a more rideable uh, version for a regular person. Yeah, so regular bar tape, no one by setup, small chain rings, quark on there. Yeah, pretty wide 1128 cassette and the convenience of electronic shifting. Plus, he also gets the speed of the two spoke wheels. Uh, overall, the bike gained around 170 grams with this modification, so not too bad. Uh, but I, as I said, smaller chainring and everything, so 
if it was a one to one conversion then probably it will be uh, a bit less than that yeah so one more shot at the blip box quite a neat setup yeah underneath I removed the national stripes as well okay so if you'd like to see more high-end bicycle builds and the parts that I use reviewed then don't forget to tune into the channel and subscribe it's all for today thanks for watching and see you next time